Welcome to the Tool Hut channel. Today I'm going to go over a kit that I put together in my Amazon store. If you don't own a scope, I'm going to make some recommendations. This is a really good getting started scope. This is not a really good scope for a professional, but it's a very powerful scope for somebody that's learning how to use a scope. I believe you're going to run into obstacles with it uh, a couple of years down the road. If you use your scope, you're going to start to see things that you really wish it would do. But this will get you going, not spending a lot of money, and just get the scope out of the box. Let's start using it. So, anyway, stand by. While you got a second, why don't you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when stuff comes out. I welcome any questions or comments you may have down below. Okay, first things first. Any of the equipment that you see used in my videos is available on the website. If it's not there, send me an inquiry off the website, toolhutusa.com. That's T-O-O-L-H-U-T-U-S-A.com. My name is Sam. All right, so here we got a brand new hand tech scope in the box or in the package. I took it out of the box. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open her up here. Just wanna go with you, over with you a couple of things that we wanna do with this scope before we try to use it. So here we got all of these leads that it comes with. Here's some software. Here's the ignition lead, we're gonna keep that. This is the USB cord. Gotta keep that. All of these things right here are garbage. So, find the nearest trash receptacle and get them in there. So, what you should end up with is your eight channel hand tech scope, two channels on that end, six channels on this end, your USB cord, and your ignition lead in the top. The rest of it goes in the receptacle. And then here's the software for the hand tech scope. Um, probably pretty much useless because you can download it off the internet. Okay, open up this hand tech 1008 software. I'm going to go to oscilloscope. So uh, this is one of the things, and I'm not real sure if I'm missing something, uh, but what we want is we want everything but channel one off. So with the Hantec software, like I say, there might be an easier way to do this, but right now, I don't know what it is, so this is the way we're gonna do it. Turn off every channel except for channel one. And then our horizontal, this is our time base. We want to get about 10 minutes on the screen. So 600 seconds. So we got 500 seconds, which is going to be close enough. It's four minutes and, or I'm sorry, eight minutes and 20 seconds or so. So we're going to do that. So we want I'm going to go back to channel one and we're going to change this uh, one about a 20 volt scale Looks like it's five volts per division so it's five and this is going to be this oh, it's got the zero way up here so let's move this down here we're going to be all positive voltage, so it'll be 5, 10, 15, 20. We don't need that much, so 2 volts, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Yeah, that should be plenty. So that should work just like that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to set it up. So we've got about 10 minutes on the screen. That's 500 seconds. Uh, we could probably go 
go one more. That's a thousand. That's way too much time. So um, for the first few tasks to use in the scope, this is the kind of the time base. Now every scope is going to be a little different how it sets this up, but the basics is we want about 10 minutes on the screen and about 20 volts on the screen. So I know that somebody's going to going to comment that I uh, don't need that much time on the screen and I'm going to go over with you some tests. Remember this is about getting the scope out of the box. This isn't necessarily about diagnosing vehicles at this point. So I want you to learn your scope, what your time base is, what your voltage scale is, and uh, let's move on. All right, so now it's time. I do have the Hantec 1008C plugged into the laptop. And uh, I think we should be good. So let's go hook up to a car. All righty. All right, as you can see, I got my scope running. I got 500 seconds on the screen. So what I'm going to do on my phone is I'm going to set a timer for five minutes. And I'm going to reach in the vehicle. This happens to be my wife's Jeep Grand Cherokee. And I'm just going to turn the headlights on. And I'm going to set a timer for five minutes. So we're not touching nothing else for five minutes, not trying to start it, not trying to do nothing else. Just set a timer for five minutes and I'll be back with you in just a couple minutes or five minutes. I'll be back in five minutes. How's that? Okay, so I got my timer running. I thought I'd go over a couple of things with you. So I got my hand tech plugged in, got the headlights on. I'm hooked up to the jump posts underneath the hood. Again, this point is about di not about diagnosing this vehicle it's about getting the scope out of the box and using the scope so what we're going to do first is a battery test now this truck has sat here all night uh, came in came home last night and i did not start it this morning so this is the uh this is the condition of the battery after it's set overnight you can do this with it uh, just after you pull it into a bay or whatever. Uh, I'm just letting you know the condition of this one. And this is a 2012, and I do believe it's the original battery. So there's a real good chance that we're gonna test this battery and we're gonna find a weak spot. But that's not about the point of this video. The point was to some simple tests. Let's get this scope out of the box and let's get using it. So again, we got the timer running. I got just over a minute left. I just thought I'd go over with you exactly what we're doing. All right. As you can see, again, I've mis misjudged my time. So we're at one division here, and we're five minutes in. And obviously, this is uh, 500 seconds per division. But I'm not going to change it now because I've already started it. And the point is, uh, we're doing what we're doing. And then the other thing is, is I'm, I got the scale, the zero right down here at the bottom. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten, about 12 volts. Uh, I know it's not a precision. It is still running. Uh, the vehicle's not running, but the headlights are still on. So I'm going to reach in. I'm going to turn off the headlights, and then I'm going to start the vehicle. And let, we're going to see what happens. <clears throat>
have shut off the ignition just to kind of let it rest for a second here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a clear flood with just voltage, just hooked up, just like I was for the battery test. So we're going to do a relative compression test, essentially, with voltage. So I'm going to take a picture of this screen. So the picture here, we're just going to take a screenshot. I'm going to do this for battery test. I do want to show you a couple things here before we do that, though. Okay, so I've made some changes to the software here. You can see I went to view and I added I added the toolbar to my view and I added all of this stuff up at the top, which added my zoom in, zoom out button. Um, so it is running blank spot going across there. What I'm going to do also set up my um, two volts per division and what's it look like here two two seconds per division so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to push stop when it starts over on the left hand side so i can fill up my screen and i'm going to go do my relative compression Okay, that didn't work. So let's do this. Let's change this to 10 seconds per division. We're going to run it. If it'll run here. So there. I'm going to go to do relative compression. Hit stop right now because it won't stop until it gets to the end, which I figured out. So because I got 10 seconds per division on there, got a few seconds of waiting. It is a little, the software is a little clunky to use, but once you learn how to use it, I don't think it's terrible to use. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the plus, the zoom button. Make sure it's highlighted. Once it's off the screen here. I think we can zoom in. The software is a little weird to use. So I'm going to try it at five seconds per division. I know this is crazy. I'm still learning the software, obviously.
Okay. Sorry about that. Push button start, you know. Huh. I forgot to push stop. Why it goes back to 500 milliseconds? Yeah, 500 milliseconds. All right. Again, I've changed the two seconds per division. As soon as it starts over on the other screen, I'm gonna. Push the stop button. And then we can zoom in here. And the point is, is we want to be able to see, this is a V8, so we want to see V8 relatively even humps. So as each cylinder comes up, it takes voltage from the battery. So uh, these are pretty even. I'm not gonna pull a spark plug and make it more even for you. I think you get the, get the point. The point is, is we don't have any gaps. It's pretty consistent. It does a really pretty decent job of relative compression using voltage on the scope. Now, obviously, preferred method is going to be with an amp clamp and we're going to cover that in a later video but this is about getting the scope out of the box simple non-intrusive connections to learn how to use the scope so hopefully this will help you like i said it's uh i'm not going to mess with the cursors and the measurements to get accurate measurements today the point is there were two two volts per division we kind of messed with our time base I know I'm a little clunky with this software. I'm not familiar with it. The point is it's all pretty much the same. It's scope software. So as you progress, as you learn the software, you'll be better at it. So hopefully you struggle as much with it as I did here in the beginning. Uh, like I say, to me, the, the big deal was the view and add the toolbar and let me know what you think. Okay, thanks for watching. I know it was kind of clunky. I know I struggled with the software, but hopefully you understand that's the point of this. Let's get something out we're not familiar with, but to learn how to use it, let's get more comfortable with it. That way we can progress to, to the second stage of this video or third stage of this video. So uh, again, get the software out. I'm not really, I don't really care what scope you're using. Use a scope, get the scope out, learn it. Let's set up some time base. Let's do some basic, very basic um, testing in the beginning and then commit to it. Do a couple of cars a week, three cars a week, uh, five cars a week. Just hook it up. Again, hopefully it's easy to get to. It's uh, 
all set up in your cart, ready to roll. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. On to the next one.